What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here again at Think Computers and what I have in front of me, which I hopefully that you guys can see, is Gigabyte's brand new 3D BIOS and um, I assume the reason why they're calling it 3D is because they actually have a picture here of the your actual motherboard and um, it will go over you know the different things so you can just use you know you can use your mouse just like with most graphical BIOSes these days um, and you can go you know hover over certain things and it will tell you what they are and then you can go into them so I'm just going to go over them really quick um, starting up top here you have your 3D power uh, moving over you have system tuning which which is both the CPU and memory you have uh, that's still 3D power you have integrated device control you have expansion slots you have the dual BIOS, you have drive control features, and I believe that is it. So we'll go into each one, and I'm just going to go over them really quick. So if we go into 3D power here, um, it's all of your power options. So you have your phase control, voltage controls, currents, and thermal properties. Really easy. And these menus will come up here, and all you have to do to get out of them is just simply hit the X here. If we go into system tuning, um, this is basically like your overclocking settings. So you have your frequency here. Um, you can set your XM XMP profile here if you want to use it. You have memory timings, uh, memory timing again, and then you have your voltage controls for things that have to do with their memory and your CPU. Moving over here to the in integrated device control. Um, pretty pretty simple how this is set up. Um, you can set your eSATA e controller, your audio device controller, and your LAN controller, turn them on or off. And with USB, same thing, um, legacy USB support, USB 2.0 and USB 3.0 support, you can turn them on or off. Moving down to the expansion slots here, um, just pretty simple configuration right here. Um, really easy to figure out. If we go over to the dual BIOS here, you can um, change the settings with the BIOS if you want the logo to show or anything like that. You can turn on the Intel virtualization technology, everything like that. And then your smart fan controls are in here as well. If we go over to your drive control features, it's pretty simple here. You can just change the controllers of what they are. So you can do IDE RAID or AHCI or disable them completely. So that is pretty simple. That goes over everything. So you may be wondering, Wait, maybe I'm missing something in here. Maybe there's something not on these menus. You can go down here and these icons will show you the different things. So if I want to go in here, I can just get the regular um, menu bias that you're used to seeing on other motherboards. So in here, you know, you can change, you can check the current status of your, C of your CPU and your system and everything like that. Hit escape to go out. Um, you can go down, you know, change your voltages, everything like that. But it's cool that they have it in the 3D system um, for a lot of people who aren't used to menu BIOSes. Just like the same thing, system, you can go in here and change everything that you want. BIOS features, you know, peripherals, everything that you would want in a BIOS, it's here. Easy to find, but the 3D BIOS makes it easier. And you're maybe you're in this menu system and you want to get back to the 3D BIOS. Anytime, anywhere you are in the BIOS, you just hit the F1 key and you're simply back. So it's very simple, very easy to use. I really like it. And this is the first graphical BIOS that we've seen from Gigabyte. And it's really well done. I know some people are pretty hard on it, but you have to realize this is Gigabyte's first graphical BIOS and it's done very well and it makes it really easy you know I, I know when I go to the BIOS the first thing I want to do is go into the CPU so all I have to do is just click here it brings everything up I can move everything you know just just kinda like if I'm in Windows using you know Windows overclocking utility very easy to use very easy to save very very cool so this is the Gigabyte 3D BIOS and you can this BIOS is available on all of the brand new Socket 2011 motherboards available from Gigabyte